Ferdinand Monoyer 5 Fast Facts You Need to Know The May 9th Google Doodle celebrates the life of Ferdinand Monoyer, the famed French ophthalmologist who created the diopter, a unit of measurement for vision still used today. He also invented the Minard chart. May 9, 2017 would mark Monoyer's 181st birthday. Although his best-known achievements were made over 140 years ago, his work is still important today, especially for those who need glasses. 1. Monoyer invented the diopter, the unit of measurement for vision. In 1872, Minner made his biggest contrition to ophthalmology, which is the branch of medicine concerning the eyeball. He developed the diopter, or diopter in the UK. Dot. Diopter is the unit of measurement for the optical power of the lens. 2. Monoyer hid his name in the Monoyer vision test. Monoyer was also the developer of the Monoyer chart. This is used to test visual acuity, or how well the retina focuses. Monoyer actually hid his own name in the test he used, much like an Easter egg. The first letter of each line, from the second row through the sixth, spells out his last name. The last letter from each line, beginning at the second through the tenth line, spells out his first name. 3. He was an ophthalmologist, which is different from an optometrist or optician, as the American Association for Pediatric Ophthalmology and Strabismus explains. An ophthalmologist is a medical doctor who specializes in eye and vision care. Unlike an optometrist and optician, an ophthalmologist is licensed to be a surgeon and practice medicine. They also diagnose all eye disease and prescribe eyeglasses or contact lenses. 4. Monoyer died in 1912 at age 76. Monoyer died on July 13, 1912. According to Lyon Medical in 1912, members of the Faculty of Medicine at the University of Lyon followed his casket to his grave in a procession to honor his work. 5. Monoyer's father was a military doctor who died when Monoyer was 5 years old. Monoyer's father was a military doctor who died when Monoyer was just 5 years old. Monoyer's mother, Jean, then married Professor Victor Stoger, who had two daughters of his own, and they moved to Strasbourg.